Hi, it's MJ Nodillo here with your Pathlight Insight. And we thought it was appropriate to address the re recent heightened market volatility to you because we know it can be very unsettling. In fact, today, Thursday, October 9th, the Dow Jones alone was down 337 points. Uh, yesterday was up over 270 points, really, which is showing the level of, of uncertainty that's going on in the marketplace. Much of the uncertainty is driven by macro events that we've had to deal with for a long time, and we've touched up upon them quite a bit. But we want to make sure that we keep our eye on the ball. Believe me, we understand it's not fun to see your portfolios go up and down. It's truly, really not fun for us. Uh, because we deal with so many different individuals that we know very well. But what we have to do is step back and stay focused on what matters. And to us, it's a focus on high quality companies. You know, not all is bad. We know what's going on globally. But in fact, today, for example, Pepsi, which is a portfolio holding, had very strong uh, earnings report. Costco had very strong earnings report. Alcoa had very strong earnings report. And so while the macro can really influence markets in the short term, we think the focus has to be on the companies themselves. And we're not willing to give up on great quality companies because of some short term comeuppance. There are a few things that have really changed a bit though that are worthy of addressing. One is the dollar's really strengthening, which can have some impact on global multinationals. Another is Europe's economy is weakening. And the third is that oil prices have really come down. Now oil prices, uh, when they come down, is certainly a benefit to the consumer, but right now those three, things, those three things when combined are really putting excess pressure on companies in Europe, companies in the energy industry, as well as manufacturing. And so it's those companies that have had really heightened moves to the downside. As such, our response to that has been to reduce exposure to the economically sensitive companies. Generally speaking, we sold all of Total, a French energy company, at a profit. We got out of Synovus, an oil sands company based in Canada, and we reduced a position in Xylem, which is an industrial manufacturer focused on the water business. These are things that we are doing that we think are appropriate in a challenged environment that we recognize as effect, are affecting markets. So we're going to make changes where we think those issues are appropriate from a portfolio standpoint, but we're not going to abandon what is a time-tested, proven discipline of investing in quality businesses at the expense of being very short-sighted. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. We're more than willing to talk about your specific situation in your portfolios, and we're here to discuss uh, whenever you need. Thank you very much.